Breaking news! Super Typhoon Samantha Bernardo has already made a landfall in Thailand, causing the entire country and Miss Grand International staff and organizers stunned. Why are they all stunned? That's what we will talk about for today's episode, so stick around for my thoughts and insights. Let's go straight to the source. Uh, the story time. Do you think the swimsuit competition of Miss Universe pageant is still there? Before we go to our main topic, I would like to thank you all for clicking this video once again. By the way, I am Adam Hinata, a newly established Filipino pageant blogger based here in Manila, Philippines, enticing you to click that notification bell and that subscribe button for more of my feel-good videos here. You know what guys, I am really making this commentary video as I really couldn't help but feel overjoyed and excited for our very own Samantha Bernardo who has already arrived in Bangkok and going viral with her departure and arrival photos and video in Bangkok the other day. To be honest, how she showcased herself in the traditional Thai outfit really reminds me so much of our very own Catriona Gray who also created quite a stir of or commotion board both here in Manila and in Bangkok when she was competing in Miss Universe three years ago. Yes, guys, it feels like it is Miss Universe 2018 all over and again, and I just couldn't help but feel that Samantha has really a close shot in winning our first ever golden crown. Samantha really looked Thai from head to foot in that Cyrus Guetta ivory modern shoot Thai outfit for her departure look to Bangkok the other day. I have been very much in close contact with her styling team since a few weeks ago and what they told me is that it decided to come up with an outfit which can be a tribute to Thailand. Sir Kenneth Ramil, Samantha's main stylist, shows a simple yet classy design para umangat pa rin yung ganda niya at nung Thai outfit. Since learning upon the news that the pageant will be back in Thailand, he has carefully thought of how he will present Samantha in a good but grand way. You might also be wondering about the hair ornament in Samantha's outfit. Well, it was suggested by Sir Adam de Guzman from Ornate Manila to complete a very impactful look. And it worked guys, diba? Nakita nyo naman, it suited her so much. She looks well rested and fresh with her beauty look. It is really catering to the beauty aesthetic of the Thais whom are known for its clean, fresh, skin makeup look all the time. And it is in this reason that I really have to credit her styling team and kagandang, kagandahang Flores Cam for running an organized schedule despite her last minute appointment. Days before the other day, she was already being quarantined in a hotel while testing negative before her flight and in her an antigen test at the airport during that day as well. So you can see that Samantha was very relaxed and well rested the other day and it's amazing how she was able to pull off everything with a limited amount of resources this just goes to show that with the right connections you can really still create something huge and impactful despite short notice ang galing lang talaga ng team niya and it's very clever how her team has decided to let Samantha fly ahead of time the schedule for all arriving candidates will be this coming Sunday pa, February 28. But Samantha took advantage of the lull time, very mindful of the limited flights of our country to Bangkok and quarantine protocols that she will still undergo once she sets foot in Bangkok. So talagang, alam mo yun, napag-usapan talaga siya eh. Sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, what difference a year makes? Diba? Now, we are the first foreign delegate to arrive in this pageant this year compared to last year where we arrived so late due to unforeseen circumstances na nakakatuwa lang talaga yung pangitain. Somehow, regardless how our delegates behave or do in the pageant, lagi tayong napag-uusapan and ngayon I am so grateful na napag-uusapan tayo for all the right and positive reasons. And now that Samantha has gotten all our attention, imagine the first foreign delegate to arrive in a pageant country like us. That says a lot as she went viral with all her photos and videos 
all day nung isang araw. And it really reminds me so much of Catriona Gray in Bangkok three years or even Chualita Sonsone the other way around when she was competing here in Manila for Miss Universe four years ago. That's how impactful she is at the moment. And I feel like at this point, Samantha already ended the entire competition in advance with her arrival there the other day. Just wow. Talagang alam mo yun, nasunod talaga yung sinabi ko noon na talagang tapusin na niya kaagad yung laban the moment she arrives in Thailand. Nagkatotoo yung wish ko, guys. So guys, right now as I speak to you, Samantha is already quarantined in her hotel for the next two weeks in preparation for her, for the official welcome ceremony of the pageant on March 15. Pero don't worry guys, even in quarantine, she is coming prepared. I heard she brought her own fitness device or equipment to keep herself fit for the next two weeks dahil bawal siya lumabas sa kwarto niya. And you know what, at this point, through her team, she would like to send her gratitude and appreciation for all the love and support we all gave her the other day. Natutuwa talaga siya sa support na binibigay natin sa kanya and she is asking for more prayer of our prayers that she will always be safe and negatively tested for all the activities of the pageant very soon. I think before thinking about our chances in the pageant, this is what we should prioritize in praying about her. Because it's no joke should a candidate test positive for the virus, she will still immediately be sent home and forced to withdraw from the competition. So, speaking of her chances in snagging our first ever golden crown, let's just remain, ho be, remain hopeful and be cautiously optimistic about it. Yes, nakikita nyo ako dito sa vlog na to na super excited about her since her announcement as our delegate for this pageant. But, but let me remind you guys, MGI isn't like Miss Universe. This pageant has different dynamics depending on the owner and the organizers. Yes, as early as now, Samantha will definitely place as high as top 5. But to win our first ever golden crown, um, let's try to temper and or manage our expectations about it. Because remember, if you watch my previous vlog, our country does not really have a strong sash factor in this pageant system as we have been in place for the last two years. So what we can do right now is probably get in the good graces of the pageant by following all their social media accounts for us to be updated about any forthcoming photo or video about Samantha Bernardo. Then repost it, especially if there are activities which, which should be subjected to an online voting. Guys, ngayon nga, alam mo, as I speak to you right now, um, nagsimula na ang Miss Grand International na magpa magpaandar through their online voting na tinatawag nilang top 5 arrival sa online voting wherein every like or share of Samantha Bernardo's photo uh, from their social media accounts will merit certain points hanggang sa makuha hanggang kung sino man yung delegate na makakuha ng highest number of points until March 1 which is the deadline of the online voting Diba? So, sana supportahan natin din talaga si Samantha at this crucial time. So guys, we really have to give this online voting our energy. Kasi super crucial nito. Not Now is not the right time to engage ourselves in a lot of mods leaning or bashing with the pageant system on social media. On social media given the events in the past. Let's do away with the negativity for the meantime. Ako talaga, to be honest, I have learned to be more open-minded about this pageant system. Regardless of the past or how Samantha will end up on March 27, I will have a need to take this pageant for what it is. Whatever our past grievances towards this pageant, let it all be in the past. Now really have to now we really have to be humble and grateful that it is still under BD Beanie's title roster and the latter still keeps sending our high quality and competitive girls in this pageant system. So for now I see Sam in the top five of the pageant. Emphasis on for now. Kasi nakikita ko pa rin na nakikita pa rin naman natin na marami pa marami pang mga siyang makakalaba mga candidates na parating pa lang. So let's see de ba? Uh, considering na yung mga Latinas this year are also coming in very strong like Puerto Rico, Argentina, Brazil. So let's see, let's withhold our judgment muna for the meantime. And bef um, before we think about it, let's credit Samantha for all her efforts in showcasing herself in the pageant right now. Kahit day one pa, rang, day one pa lang ng quarantine niya, nakita mo naman na super freshness overload and impeccable styling ang pinapakita niya sa atin in that aqua blue um, outfit that she wore yesterday. So guys, she's really making us proud. So I hope this will she will be able to, sus to sustain that momentum until 
towards all these crucial activities leading up to the grand coronation night on March 27. So there you go guys, what do you think about my assessment of Samantha Bernardo at this point in time of the competition? Does it match yours? Well, if you have co if you have comments or opinion, can you please share it down below para makita ko naman yung mga points of view nyo so we could help, we could have <laughs> a healthy discussion about Samantha Bernardo. Alright guys, until my next video, bye!